Hey guys, it's Dirt 77 bringing you a rundown on PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale Private Beta Press Start the Game. Uh, this is a beta for PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, uh, which is a pretty anticipated game coming out at the uh, end of the year, October 23rd, I think. Uh, right now, this is a private beta, so you can only get in if you um, grab a code or if they send you a code in your email, which is very possible. Uh, but they will be opening up this beta a little bit further as uh, time goes on. They said during fall, uh, they're going to be opening this up a little bit more. Um, now, I have had some issues with freezing, so hopefully that won't happen. But if it does, then I'll just have to cut it and everything, you know, we'll go back. Um, but anyway, this is um, a game made by Superbot. It's a fighting game, well, a fighting game, uh, consisting of PlayStation characters, popular PlayStation characters, such as Sweet Tooth and Kratos and stuff like that. Um, I've actually been looking forward to this game a pretty good amount, so I was really happy that I was able to uh, snag myself a code. I do not want to be Kratos. Let's just start out with Sweet Tooth at first, because he's pretty easy to uh, show off. Um, but I'll, I'll go through every character and try to kind of give you uh, a rundown on each character's, you know, what, what happens, what they do. I'm probably going to go for the level 3 for most characters at first just to show that off, and then I might do, you know, some additional rounds. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so this is a uh, game, you know, a party fighter, similar to something like Super Smash Brothers, and uh, a lot of people have actually, you know, compared this to Super Smash Brothers really heavily, like, to the point where they, like, get angry about it, you know? And, um, you know, the thing is that this game obviously takes inspiration from Smash Brothers, but they really have something different here. Um, oh, well, well okay, damn it. Let's try it again here. It's, it's usually been pretty okay about getting me into mashes, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, they have something pretty different here. It's, um, you know, it obviously takes inspiration, but the way you play it is just completely different. It's, it's kind of hard for me to understand why people are comparing it to it sh so strongly um, because, you know, it's a similar premise, of course, but like Smash Brothers is about knocking people off the stage and this is not at all. It plays completely different. I feel like this is a, as much of a clone as Smash Brothers as like King of Fighters is a clone of, you know, Street Fighter or something, you know? Um, so it's, it's really cool and the way it works is that you actually don't even have a life bar. Uh, you have an AP meter down there at the bottom as you can see mine is down there. Um, and you build up supers, and the only way you can kill somebody is with a super. So, what you're, you can either build up a level 1, 2, or 3 super, and, uh, you, you know, choose to use it when you want. And, uh, and yeah, depending on which super you use, they're stronger and more powerful and things like that. Um, and that's how it works. So you just hit on people to gain meter, and you can also get stuff like AP balls and stuff to, uh, help yourself gain some. And uh, yeah, you just use that. So it's it's really interesting because there's not there's not really anything like this. It's uh, it's very much just about I don't know. It's very offensive. Like you know, like I'm I'm usually a pretty defensive player when it comes to fighting games and stuff. Um, and like once again, this is not like you know I, it's hard to call this a fighting game, but you punch people, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a fighting game. Um, but I'm usually pretty defensive when it comes to this kind of stuff, and I just, I hardly ever block in this game, because it's just all about hitting people. Oh god, Parappa just used a super, it's a skateboard, he did not get me, hell yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just all about hitting people and getting that meter up, because the higher, see now I'm at level 2, so um, I could use a level 2 super if I want, but I'm going to try to save up for level 3. Sweet Tooth is pretty awesome, he's uh, pretty easy to pick up and play as well. Um, all of his character, uh, all of his moves kind of are pretty deliberate and they kind of have a purpose, you know. Um, Kratos just wiped us out with a level one super, it looked like. And, um, yeah, he's, he's good though. He's, he's, he, a lot of him is about controlling space, it seems like, with his minds and, uh, and his other abilities, such as his fire breath and things. Oh, God, just got it again. Um, yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah, he's got mines, he's got a shotgun that he can shoot up and down. Um, and stuff like that. As you can see, the Hydra have completely just destroyed Ratchet and Clank's world uh, and Captain Quark along with it. Um, and the levels are pretty sweet. I like these levels. When I first saw them, actually when I first saw this game in general, like I felt like it didn't look that great. And seeing it on, uh, you know, my TV now and everything, it looks a lot better. The colors are 
really strong. Oh, wait, wait, here we go. Got level three. Ah, so now I get fucking Mecha Tooth and just lay waste to these guys. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Yeah! Oh, come here, Parappa. Gotta believe to die. No, no, there we go. All right, cool. So I got three kills out of that. Each kill gives you two points, and uh, one death gives you negative one point so it doesn't show your score on screen which i like because it makes everybody want to keep fighting you know all the time so yeah that was pretty cool i don't remember what i was talking about before that because that was so awesome it's almost out of time so i got a level one super i need to burn it oh duel of the skateboards oh now i'm dead oh come on come on just respawn me i need to use this come here kratos don't oh no it didn't work okay but yeah, so that's how a typical round goes. It's kind of weird. Like, the whole game is a little weird because, you know, I've never really played a game without health bars. I mean, Smash is, doesn't technically have a health bar, but I don't know. It's just weird, but I really like it. I like the approach that it takes. I, I think that it's fun, and I think it's accessible in a lot of cool ways. Um, for instance, the attacks, uh, you know, you, you basically just have three attack buttons, and depending on how you combine those directions, you, you know, you get different attacks. So it's really just easy to be able to jump in there and figure out what your character does and how to do stuff. And then, of course, supers is just R2. So it, it's, I think it's accessible in a good way. It doesn't feel dumb. Like, it feels like there's enough strategy. Like, you need to use the right moves at the right times. But it feels like it, basically anybody can jump in and understand this. Like, hit me until you have a big bar. Um, and then press R2 to hit me with a super and try to kill me. You know, so I don't know. I like it. I think the whole idea of it is pretty sweet. So I'll try out Kratos now. And um, he's good. I've heard some people be like, like IGN and stuff have been saying like he's like overpowered. And so far, honestly, I haven't really had too much of an issue with that. Like, I feel like a lot, all the characters so far, you know, this is a beta. There's a lot of really rough edges in this. You can tell this is an old build. Um, but so far, I actually feel like the characters are fairly well balanced. You know, there's some weird stuff here and there. But I haven't really had too much of an issue with stuff. So anyway, so Kratos has got, like, all of his tools here. He can just slash up Fat Princess, you know. And um, you can actually kind of do basic God of War combos if you, you hold launcher. You know, you'll follow up your launcher and stuff like that. All that good stuff. He can do his little grapple to you and things. Let's see. I'm, I'm trying to hit him with a launcher combo here. Oh, no, no, Fat Princess getting in there. No. Oof. Yeah, but Kratos is pretty cool. He's, he's good. Like, he uh, he's builds meter well and stuff, and he's got a lot of tools for himself. So, he think, he seems kind of like a Jack of All Trades character. Oh, did you see Captain Quark? Oh, oh, I just froze there because she just started riding her huge chicken. Don't hit me. Don't hit me with your huge chicken. Please don't. Please don't. I'm the god of war, but chickens just, oh, I hate him. Alright, let's see. Let's get out of here. This hammer is a really great move. I've got level one now. I'm working on a level two. Um, but so far, all the characters feel really different in good ways. Like I said, they all feel pretty accessible to the point where you can kind of pick them up and just figure out what the hell they're doing, what the hell they're about. Um, but they all feel very different. You know, Radic and Kratos play very differently from each other and, uh, and so on. Oh, let's see if I can get Fat Princess here. So I'm at, I'm at a level two right now. I really want to get a level three if I can, but they're hard to get. Oh, that guy's got a rocket launcher. If he hits you with that, it drains some of your AP, which is never good. No. No, I don't know where I am. Which one am I? Oh, I'm this one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was not sure there. Oh. Bash you? No. No. Not quite. Come here. Come here. But yeah, the levels are cool. I really like them. It was, um... This whole game, just the presentation, I feel like, really pops, like, once you see it on the screen. I don't know. For, like, ever since, even up to playing this now, I kind of always, like, when I see videos of this game, I'd be like, eh, I just don't know if that looks very good. And uh, it definitely looks really good. It's very colorful. So there's a little God of War combo there. You can launch them up. Oh, I'm, I'm getting close to the level, uh... Oh, no, don't use the chicken, please! No, please! Just... Oh, spare the God of War. Give me a massive chicken, fat lady. Uh, let's see here. No, God, I'm getting mercolated. Boom. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a level 3 once again. Um, well, actually, I got one with the Sweet Tooth one to talk about. But there's a level 2. It's pretty badass as well. And I also have a level 1. Come here, Radic. No, it's not going to work. 
So yeah, that's Kratos. He's pretty okay. I mean, he's pretty good. I, I just, he's not my favorite character to play in in this. Uh, my favorite character so far is Radic, actually. I don't even really like Killzone very much. I've never played two or, uh, I played one. It was just a really long time ago. But Radic is awesome because I, I like to, like I said, kind of be defensive. And he just picks people off from far away. He just, he's actually kind of an asshole. And, I, and But, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, I'll be him. The bummer is about playing him, though, is that when you play as him, if you use his level three, which is really one of the best things he has going about him, and you kill the players in this in this version in this beta, it seems like they just it glitches out and they like don't come back. Um, so that's a real bummer. I'm gonna I'm still gonna try his level three anyway because it's great and it's awesome, but hopefully it won't completely destroy the game like it's pretty capable of doing. These little intros are cool, you know, they're all pretty neat. All the exact same every time, so it's really funny when you get a lot of similar characters. All right, so we got some nice character variety here. This is a little big plant level. It's really cool. Uh, it builds as you play. Oh, sniper rifle and, and stuff like that. And it also is combined with Buzz uh, from PlayStation, which is uh, pretty great. So this, this level's really good for Radic because of this move right here. When they're down here, I can just sit up here and just pump these grenades into them. And until one of them just like, hey, fucking stop. And they come up here and try to smack me. So, um, But Radic has got a sniper rifle and uh, other awesome weapons to just help keep people off of him. And also give him a lot of uh, AP. I, I believe that's what it's called, AP. And um, so, yeah, he, he, he's not really good up close. But he's, uh, he's really good from far away. And uh, really annoying from far away too, because see, his, his sniper just kicks him back so far, and it's full screen. So he can just, if he can get, especially in a flat level or something, if he can get going, it can really be uh, annoying and devastating. Oh shit! There's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff I'm still trying to learn though about like the how the weapons work and everything. They're really, you know, I'm trying to remember what each character's uh, weapons are. I mean, not weapons, uh, attacks. And uh, there's oh, he just kicked me out of the sky. It's all in the mind. Um, but yeah, it, the attacks all seem like pretty purposeful so far. Like uh, I've seen a couple of uh, just kind of weird attacks here and there. Like that I, I'm just like, I just don't feel like, especially with characters like Parappa. But um, overall it seems pretty okay about, oh, did you see that? I just threw that electricity thing up there and I shot him in there with a shotgun. That was cool. Um, yeah, they all seem purposeful and stuff. It's just, it, you know, it's it's fun to kind of find what your character's main attacks are and then base yourself around that. Oh, Parappa is giving me the kicks and the punches. Oh, I tried to snipe him out of the air. Come on, Parappa. Come here. Oh. Yeah, see, so he can just hang back. And, and when I'm fighting Radic a lot, like... Um, it can be really annoying because you're just fighting somebody and then you just get shot. Okay, so, uh, what, oh, I didn't, I didn't hear what the, what is the reward for a correct answer in a but I, I don't know, I've never played Buzz. I'm going to say score? No? Trout? Gold star. Gold star. I'm going to just say gold star because there's not many people over here anyway. Oh, Kratos is doing his level three, so that makes him grow huge and attack. And he's probably going to come, oh, I got pied by Buzz, that's not cool. And Kratos is coming to kill me. You can't gain any meter as far as I know when he is trying to... Oh! Yeah, yeah, when he is coming at you like this. Uh, so that's that doesn't really work out. Oh, come on, snipe. 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 Oh, Parappa? No, you sneaky little devil. Yeah! He's got a melee combo that sends him far away, which is awesome. Oh, just a little bit more and I got a level 3. Oh, just a little bit more. Oh, I'll break open this box. Give me this. Give me this. Give me the level three. No, give me the level three. No, no, you bastard. Yes, let's do this. All right, sweet. Time to gun you guys down. Ah oh, see, okay, so he just froze up and just sat there. Die, Kratos. Die, fake Kratos. He does the same thing. Oh, wait, no, no, he actually was alive. But yeah, a lot of times, it, I don't know what the deal is with that. It just completely wigs out. Um, when that happens, you know, of course, it's something I'm sure is going to be fixed in the final uh, build. And this is also something kind of funny. It always shows like nearly everybody losing, like their losing face, even if they win. So Kratos is like, oh god, I was all pissed off, I was so close, even though he totally won. Um, 
but every now and then it'll show the actual right exciting face yeah, as you can see, Radic is cool, and he's uh, he's interesting. He can be annoying, but he's definitely fun. Uh, let's try a Fat Princess. I, I haven't really tried her out very much. I did a little bit. I just I did, So far, I don't really like her that much, uh, but she definitely seems pretty interesting. So, I don't know. I've never played her game either, so she's not exciting to me when it comes to that. Um, but, yeah, so we're in a Jack and Dexter level now that's combined with Hot Shots Golf. And... Um, yeah, there's, there's just a lot of cool stuff in here so far. I'm really digging the whole, you know, all these characters together. It's cool. Like, I don't know, it's, it's neat. Especially, you know, they have, a, a, of course, like plenty of other characters that are even announced that are just not in this. Um, but so far, even, even with these characters so far, like, they're really, they've really got a lot of variety to them. And they're really fun. And I can't wait to get my hands on more of them. That's all I'm saying. Um... So Fat Princess, as far as I can tell, I, I can't really tell what kind of character she is. She's just kind of interesting. I don't know. She has little minions that can fight for her, and that's cool. Lay bombs. This will blow him up. Yeah. Um, she also has, like, you know, some pound moves and stuff like that. Her supers seem pretty good, but I haven't really ever gotten to them. But I seem to be doing okay with her right now. Let's see how this goes. Oh, slamming you with my boot. Hey. So yeah, see my little dude will come out right there and he'll uh, he'll do stuff like fire stuff and things like that. Um, you can also block and I think you can evade as well. Let's see, yeah, you can definitely evade and I'm pretty sure evading makes you like invincible, you know, for a certain period of time similar to Smash. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure you can actually dodge supers with evading, so that definitely will present an interesting layer uh, when this game becomes more explored. I think that this game has got some like definite depth to it like you know it's it's still a party fighter and i can you can definitely tell that it's fun first competitive second but you know i, I don't i don't know if this will ever be a competitive fighter but i definitely do think that there's you know a good amount of depth here like something that i i want i want to play this game more like in like a training mode you know like just to, it, figuring out what moves like give you the most ap and stuff like that and you know what does what and all that stuff seems pretty exciting so I don't know. It definitely seems like it's going to have some uh, depth to it that will make it a lot of fun and exciting when you uh, figure out certain things about it. So I just totally was smacking Sweet Tooth around there. Um, send my little guy out, some bombs out, so he'll shoot the fire there. The fire is pretty cool. Um, yeah. It's going okay. Maybe I can get the level 3 of Fat Princess. Who knows? I don't even, I don't even know if I ever use her level 2. Oh. Butt bouncer, similar to Peach, very similar to Peach. Ah! Ah! Damn it. Sweet Tooth just attached a piece of TNT on me and threw me to the dogs. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it here. Mmm, magic wand attack. Yeah, but her little butt slam seems pretty good. A lot, a lot of her attacks seem pretty good. I just really haven't figured out the best way to use them, I think. Um, but, you know, I'm sure somebody... Oh! I don't even know what happened there. It's exploded big time. Oh, no. Fat chicken time! Let's go! I don't know how to use this. Oh, you charge forward. Oh, no. Yeah, chicken, you stupid chicken. God, of all the weaponized animals I would pick, why would I use a chicken? That is just poor battle, battle strategy right there. Well, anyway. Yeah, Fat Princess seems pretty interesting. Um, you know... And if you like the game, I'm sure you'd be excited for her to be in here. But um, I haven't really found a good way to use her yet. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting, though. But she does seem like she could definitely be pretty good. Um, anyway, uh, Prap is probably my second favorite. And I suppose that I will use him now. Uh, he can also be kind of annoying because he has an attack that allows him to just set down the boombox and um, get AP from that. So he doesn't even have to fight if he gets in the right situations. And he'll just level himself up. Not to mention he has, like, the most awesome level 3 in the game. Like, it might not be the best when it comes to actually utility and stuff. But it's fucking awesome. He just breaks into You Gotta Believe. And it's the best thing ever. Um, so, yeah. Parappa's all about, like, getting close and just smacking you around a lot. He's just really fun to play because he's got a lot of those, like, multi-hitting attacks like that. But, yeah, he can put down this boombox here. And just grab some AP, like, and just jam out. The music will actually change, too. Oh, kick you and stuff. 
Um, but yeah, he, he's, a, I can tell he's pretty much an AP monster, like a, a meter generating monster. Like he can get smacked around a good bit though. Like he doesn't have a lot of range at all. Uh, this move right there really helps in this little skateboarding move right here. But um, yeah, when, all of his attacks really do a whole lot of AP uh, damage, I suppose it's called. And that's really awesome. So it's not to mention his dive kick. Ooh, yeah. So uh, see, I'm already almost at level two, and now I'm just gonna jam the fuck out over here. Oh man, no, ruining everything, Sly Cooper. So here's a RPG. Shoot that, and it'll drain their AP, which is good for me. And you know, it's good stuff. I'm gonna jam out some more. Captain Quark's about to die. Whatever. I'm jamming out. Oh no, Hydra. The music will change when you're, uh, you know, doing when you're in uh, the God of War section now and stuff like that. So it's really cool. You can tell they put a lot of, like, you know, time into trying to make all the series really represented well. Uh, so that's sweet. It's really good for a game like this. Ah, oh, I just died somehow. I have to get Parappa's level three. As my, if there's only one goal in this entire match is to get Parappa's level three. Do not care if I lose or win or whatever. All right. Oh, 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 that's mine. There's definitely been some lag issues so far. Uh, not really right now, but, uh, oh, God, a fucking Hydra just came at me. No, what is happening? Okay, all right. Uh, jam out. Guys, are just all ruining my vibes. I'm just trying to jam out. Oh, my God. So... I, and jeez, I'm getting smacked hardcore here. I, I, I feel like, okay, where am I at? There we go. Yeah, but uh, right now it doesn't seem like the lag is very bad, but there's definitely times where characters are just jumping around all over the place where it's pretty unplayable. And like I said, of course, it's a beta, so it's not really expected like this is going to be perfect or anything. It's just that, um, just know that that is there pretty severely. Oh no, I just, I must get his level three. I must. Let me jam out. Just let me jam out. Just just let me do it. Why? And Sly Cooper, I believe, can steal AP. So, him being next to me, I do not like right now. No! You're ruining everything, Sly Cooper. I just want to get my level three. No! Jam out! Oh! Everything's ruined. Everything's ruined because of Sly Cooper. Damn you, Sly Cooper. Foiling my plans again. Well, that was his level two. It's a skateboard. I'll play another game with him as long as this doesn't crash. And, um, oh, right as I say crash, is it going to crash? Like, right as I say it? Oh, God. Oh, no. That was horrible. That was a horrible idea to say that. Jesus. Um, okay, yeah, looks like it just crashed. So I will cut this, and I will be right back because, damn it, Sly Cooper, you ruined it again, look at your face, all right, it's back up, and hopefully it'll go better this time, uh, I guess the only guy left to use is the little thief himself, Sly Cooper, um, hopefully he will not ruin our internet connection again by running off with it, anyway, yeah, Sly Cooper is awesome to play, he's, uh, pretty different, he, instead of a block, he has, he turns invisible, and pretty damn invisible too it's actually kind of hard for you to see him uh, if you're playing him but he's got you know a ton of little tricks up his sleeve and stuff all this all this interesting stuff uh that he can do and uh, he plays a lot like you know from his games he can you know throw out his little clocks and stuff like that he can do his little ground slam uh he can also i believe steal ap wars from people just with his basic attacks so that's pretty cool he, and his supers are awesome. All three of them are pretty awesome. I'll try to get to level three, but we will see what happens. Uh, so yeah, okay, we got, we got a little cast here. Little big planet level again. I think that in the, f oh, wait, who am I? Okay, here we go. I think that in the full game, oh, this guy's not even playing. Great. Um, I think in the full game, then this little big planet level will change into different types of levels. Uh, in the beta, it seems like it's just in a couple, you know, a couple things, but in the full game, I've heard that it will randomly generate, well, not completely randomly generate, but, like, one of a certain amount of set of a level, which is cool, because it's cool to see that uh, be collected, you know, I mean, uh, be created right in front of you. I think that he has his little parachute, I just noticed that. Oh, cool, sweet. That's fun. That is fun. So, yeah, I'm over here, uh, trying to thieve around, you know, and trying to sneak around. Yeah, no, they caught me. No, see, like, I can go invisible, 
it's hard to see me. It actually makes it really well for uh, dodging certain supers, uh, like Radix. So that's pretty good. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just useful in general because, you know, how do you see that? What can you, how can you strike what you cannot see? Says the raccoon. Um, I like Sly Cooper as a character. Like, I like his games. I played Sly 1 and like halfway through Sly 2 is really good. Um, but so yeah, he seems like really well represented here, you know, all of his little tricks and stuff, most of his tricks and stuff at least, are, uh, in here and, uh, on f in full force, which is cool. Uh, and like I said before, I mean, I'm, I'm just pretty excited about the way they did the characters in this game. So far, they seem all really fun to play, and, uh, and that's cool, because that's really important to me in a game, uh, is to have, uh, you know, variety-filled characters, and so far, like I said, the balance, uh, seems pretty okay, and I mean, that's... That's not, you know, that's the not the biggest factor, but I do really like a good balanced game, which is a lot of fun. Oh, I got myself a little floaty thing. I don't know what the deal is. So we have a statue fat princess here in honor of her gloriness. Um, she's just sitting there, I suppose. So, yeah, beta. And, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Um, and also, Superbot, when it comes to concerning balance and stuff, they seem really adamant about, um, you know, patching the game and stuff later and even adding DLC characters and stuff by what author was Bioshock and heavily influenced uh, it's Ayn Rand um, but yeah it's, it seems pretty admin about create a um, you know fixing any problems that people have with the game when it's out and adding you know even some DLC characters and stuff like that um, if you get the answer wrong you get pied um, so that's cool because uh, like you know hopefully if, if this game you know does come out and there's a lot of issues with it then they'll fix it up level three so it's time to take pictures of these guys so uh, Bentley comes out and gives you a camera he says take these pictures and kill them so that's what I'm doing run fat princess run paparazzi is out to get you yeah so you can kill them again as they come back and yeah good stuff like that that's a really fun one it's, it's really good it seems like too it might uh might be a little slow on trying to kill them when they respawn, but it seems pretty good. Uh, I don't have another uh, super, so I'm about done here. There's not really. Once you get, that's one bummer uh, so far that I've, that I've encountered is like once you get to a certain point, at least when you're playing time, I'm sure there, there's stock matches and stuff they have in this. Um, but if you uh, you know kind of get to a certain point in time and you have a certain amount of super, there's not really much you can do at all. Like, you can try to fuck up somebody else by stealing their stuff or whatever. Um, see, I'm sad, even though I, I won. And Fat Princess is still behind me. She's creeping so hard. She's like, please, just let me be part of the winner's circle. But, and then the other Fat Princess is crying really hardcore. Um, but, yeah, you know, um, this is, it, it seems really fun. I guess I'll play through again with, uh, I'll try Let's Parappa go. again so I can hopefully get his level three. Um. I really like it so far. I'm really psyched to hopefully, you know, get, I mean, I will get the full game when it comes out after playing this because it's really fun. And um, I'm sure that, the, you know, most of the fixes, that's the reason why they're running this beta, uh, will be out by the time the full game is out. And it should be a pretty exciting game. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's cool. Uh, anyway, hopefully I can get my level three going here. And I'll try to show off, you know, some other characters a little bit more and stuff. But, yeah, if you want to, like I said, if you want to get in on this beta, you kind of check your email, your uh, PlayStation Network email, uh, the one that's attached to it, because it seems like they're pretty much just sending them out randomly. Um, but if not, know that it will be open later in the fall, probably around the end of September or early October. And I'm not sure if it'll have all the same characters or whatever, but, you know, we'll see. They could add in some more. If you don't know, then there's been a pretty massive leak of all the characters that, well, not all of the characters, but a lot of characters that are in this game apparently and um yeah it seems pretty okay i'm not I actually i'm not really gonna go into that you know that has been discussed to death so i'm, I'm not really gonna go into that um but just know if the information is out there if you want it so this is really laggy that's not good uh, as you can see these guys are jumping around um and stuff uh so that's not very good but let's see i don't think we can quit this man oh double kicks Oh, more kicks. I'm just going to keep trying to do this. Oh, oh. Hell, if I get my level 3, I don't really care how laggy it is. Kratos is just getting beat the crap out of right now. Ah. Uh, Parappa, you know, he does, He didn't really have anything uh, dictating how he was going to fight in this game. 
So I think that they came up with a pretty awesome move set for him. Uh, you know, with his little karate and stuff and, and all that. Uh, I believe it's karate or kung fu, I'm not sure. Um, it's been a long time since I played Parappa. But yeah, he, he's super fun. I really like him. I'm really hoping uh, that they get... I, this this game seems really fun, like, to the point to where, like, the gameplay is, is alone has kind of just sold me on it. So I'll be okay. Um, but I really do hope that they get in some characters that a lot of people are asking for, like, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> That was not very convincing. But yeah, Crash Bandicoot, they really need to get him in. Like, you know, I don't know. If they don't, then I, I'll still most likely, you know, I'm going to get the game. Oh, here we fucking go. You got to do what? I got to redeem. Sure about that? I got to relieve. You got to do what? I got to receive. Most important, I got to believe. Fuck yeah. It just kills everybody instantly. Now, that might seem just like really, really ridiculous. Like, it's like, what the hell? That's, that's stupid. But if you think about it, a lot of characters, uh, level threes, allow them to um, kill more than three people, you know, on respawn and stuff like that. So the super is, is good, but it's also very limited. Which one of these is multiplayer map in Uncharted 3? Ah, I think Syria? I don't think Colorado Prom gas station? I'm going to say Syria. I'm going to taunt on Syria, actually. Hey, you get off here. Oh. Uh. Oh, no, no, no. No, I don't want to get pied. No, damn you, sweet tooth. Oh, I got pied really hard. Let's see. Ah, it's hard for me to remember. I, uh, I'm talking about stuff and then I kind of lose my train of thought because I'm, you know, this game is a lot of fun. I don't really remember what I was talking about before this. Oh, there we go. But yeah, that, about the level three, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's you know, this stuff seems pretty balanced. Like, just getting into how the system works and stuff and how the system kind of affects each character it's pretty cool you know thinking like okay parappa is level three honestly might not be the best way to go especially if you're not playing free for all so it might be better for you to actually just save up for his level two to use this pretty awesome skateboard level two and do that or just really honestly snack all you know uh, smack out some level ones if you think you can grab them uh, i just tried to do two of them right there and i missed them both so maybe not. His level one is not very good. It's just kind of a flip kick. Uh, so that might actually not be the best uh, option. But, you know, oh, we're just stuck at one here. Just stuck at one second. Everybody just dying. I don't even know why. Just dying. Um, time up. Oh, did you see that shore you can from Parap up there? That was awesome. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting to start thinking about, like, oh, okay, well, this will give me this much AP, and how do I want to use the AP, and, like, what supers are best for my character, and what supers and stuff will be best for this type of match, and, you know, like, it, it really, like, the, the gameplay seems simple, almost to, like, I don't want to say beautiful, but, like, to a really elegant way, like, it's really simple in an elegant way, but at the same time, it's, um... It, it's also got depth and not necessarily like, oh, well, you're going to do this massive combo and stuff like that. It's got depth in just the way you think about the game, I feel like. Like, okay, in this situation right here is the best time for me to use this super. If I take advantage of this, like, that will work out. But, you know, if you don't take advantage of it, then you're stuck with that super and you got to decide whether, if you want to use it again at some other time. You know, for instance, like Kratos is level 2. His level 3 seems pretty good, but if you're his level 2 is really situational. So it's like it's it's a thing where if you're in a fight and all of a sudden you see three people just lined up straight up like you know completely vertically, it might be the best time to just pop that off and and Ready? think about that stuff later. Um, I don't know. It just I, I think that there's gonna be a lot of interesting fun here. Like I think that this is gonna be really fun for everybody, but at the same time, I think that it's gonna be fun for people like a little bit more from the games. And, and I feel like it's not gonna be quite as much of a skill gap either. Like I feel like that it's just not gonna be a thing where a guy that really knows how to do the game is going to be so much better than someone else because he's it's more about just knowing the system really it seems like um and you know that's cool i like that not to mention that you know it since there's basically just three attack buttons that you press and with different directions it's kind of a button masher like to a certain extent it's kind of a button masher and i mean you know whatever it's fun it's it's fun for that i like that so i mean it, you can get in here and mash some buttons around and you know hit things and maybe hit a super like i'm saying you can just get in here and just not really have to take yourself like you don't really have to figure out much at all like usually inherently in most fighting games there, there's something you have to figure out whether it be smash street fighter and you know, marvel anything like you know you start playing marvel and you're just like 
oh, well, you need to know about assists, you know? I mean, oh, you need to pick the right assist. You know, there's all this stuff that you need to know just to be kind of successful on the basic level. But in this game, you know, it's just like pick up the pick up the controller, hit the buttons. When you start glowing, press right R2 and figure it out from there. And, and I'm not trying to call it dumb. I think it's really cool. Like, I, I think it's really cool that it has that at the same time. I keep I still want to keep playing it like I still want to figure out more about Radic. I still want to figure out more about using his tactics and stuff like that. And and the best way to use his snipers and stuff like that. It's it's just it's it's fun. I think this game is going to be really fun. I think it's it's going to be a whole lot of fun, really, and, and definitely its own thing. I feel like. Um, so yeah, we've got kind of a laggy match here, and one guy's just standing there. I don't know what the deal is. Um, oh, Radic also has this move right here that's very similar to Samus's bomb move. And, uh, you know, Smash Brothers, where he just kind of disappears and drops a grenade. And, uh, you know, it's really good. Was Nathan... Oh, he's supposed to... It's, uh, it's Sir Francis Drake, right? Yeah, yeah, it's Sir Francis Drake. Get away from me. Get away from me. You screwed up my stuff last time. I know my stuff. Get away from me. You can't cheat off my test. Stop. Get back. There we go. Awesome. Get high. What's up? Um, shoot you in the face, stuff like that. He's really sad. Like, every single time you hit the, uh, I, I, for some reason, I'm just, like, not gaining meter. Well, I just got hit by an item right then, so that item actually prevents you from gaining meter. But it seems like I've just been grayed out for a while. I don't really know what the deal is. Maybe I should use my super. I'm gonna use my super. Boom! His level two is sweet. It's just a, uh, you know, horizontal screen clearing move. Uh, it's basically just a huge version of a sniper rifle, and it kills you. Uh, so that's great for Attic. I haven't really used his level 1 yet, actually, at all, so uh, I'll have to mess with that a little bit more. Um, he also has a flamethrower and stuff, which is badass. Burn you. Oh, oh I tried to snipe him right at close range. Hey, let me pose next to the statue of Radic. Salute you, Radic. I salute you. Um, yeah, there's that. I'll try to, I guess I can get, like, one more game in or something. Might as well, since the game is pretty damn fun. Um... But yeah, you know, keep an eye on this, it, 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 especially, I, I, like, it seems like it's definitely thinning out, um, you know, but if you're one of those people, it's just like, oh, it's just a Smash Brothers clone, like, just, just, I don't know, just try to stop, like, I don't know, I, I just feel like th this game doesn't deserve that, it's, it, it's, takes its inspirations, that's for sure, but it's, it's more than that, it's interesting on its own level, um, but yeah, I really hope, like I was saying, since I, I, I don't remember if I went fully in depth into this, but uh, I do hope since the game is called PlayStation All Stars, I really do just really hope that like characters like Crash are in here. Like I know he's not owned by Sony anymore, but if they got Crash in here, then that would just be the coolest thing, you know. Especially if they got like old school Crash, uh, that would be really cool. They're, they've already kind of made some weird choices especially by calling the name playstation all-stars they've got ba big daddy in it which is just an awesome character so it's not like you know i'm disappointed that he's in here but at the same time it's like i've never even thought of him as a playstation character you know i've always thought of him as like a microsoft character and stuff like that not not even really that but it's just he premiered first on the xbox and it didn't even come out on the playstation 2 until much later so um so that's kind of weird, and uh, but I just hope that they, you know, got him just because they think he's an awesome character. But they really, really understand that, like, you know, if, if they got Crash, that would be so cool. That would just be so cool, and you know, maybe even Spyro. I think Spyro would be a little bit harder these days, especially with his Skylander success. Um, but if if they were able to get, you know, that stuff, you know, or like I'm not even a Final Fantasy, uh, you know, fan. I'm really not. But if they were able to get Cloud. That would be pretty cool. Like, I just want those type of characters, you know? Those type of characters that just, like, really made the PlayStation what it was, you know? I want, I want those type of characters that, that when you when you saw them, it was just like, yeah, the PlayStation fucking rules. Like, I, I never even really... Honestly, this is a, kind of a shame, uh, full thing that I have, but I never completed Final Fantasy VII. However, I completely understand the impact that that game made. And, you know, just... Just being able to show that off in this game and this celebration would be really cool. Um, so I don't know. I, I hope that they get the right characters. I hope that they, I hope that they got you know some interesting characters like Big Daddy and stuff. But uh, after seeing the leak, uh, there's characters like New Dante in there, which is just really weird. And 
Uh, especially because old Dante would actually be pretty fitting for this game because he did make a huge impact on the PlayStation 2. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I just hope... I, basically, this is just me saying I really hope you, they get crashed. Please, for the love of God, get Crash Bandicoot in this game. Just, if you know what you're doing, you will be a god to everyone, Superbot. If you get Crash Bandicoot in this game, that would be the best. Even though I, I act like I'm talking to Superbot right now. They're just like, they have decided. This roster is fully decided, I am sure. So, oh, yeah, I just stuck him and then kicked him. I love that super. It's really cool. You just basically stick him with a piece of dynamite and kick him. And if they, you know, explode near someone else and you get points. Oh, Murray just running through. Um, but, yeah, his other super, which I used earlier, is a controllable nuke uh, from the new Twisted Metal. Um, and it's pretty good. It seems pretty okay. It's like, oh, 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 please don't take my picture. I'm not looking well. I don't even have my shirt on. Please, no. My flames are not as well. Oh, but, yeah, it, it seems pretty good. You can control the nuke, and it has a pretty large blast radius. So, um, that's cool, too. Sweet two, uh, like, level one and two supers. Like, what? What is, what is going on here, Sly Cooper? Why do you, why do you, oh, Captain Court just got owned. Why do you control everything, Sly Cooper? God. Okay, 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 what? Okay, what? Come here. Yeah. <laughs> He's still, I don't know. I, this happened to me one time before. Okay, apparently after someone dies and it fixes it, or either after Sly uh, does it. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, time up. There we go. Cool. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of weird stuff going on in the beta, but it's still a lot of fun. I still want to keep playing it. I'm probably going to play more of it. Um, I guess that should about do it. That gives you a good taste. I, I, I don't know if I showed off every level. I, I don't think I actually got to see Hades for you guys, but uh, maybe I did. I don't know. But the levels are cool. The characters are all varied and interesting. I think the battle system is fun and accessible and uh, also got a good, like, a solid amount of depth, I would say. You know, and like, you know, to where you, you will be able to dig into something here. And uh, hopefully the character roster just ends up being awesome because if it ends up being awesome, then this game, like, it's already going to be fun. But if it ends up being awesome, then it could really be something special. Um... But anyway, that's basically it. Uh, I hope this kind of summed up some stuff for you and gave you a good overview of the characters. I probably could have did a better job of saying every character's, you know, move and stuff, but the truth is I don't know all their moves. So uh, I'm going to keep playing, and if you have this, uh, there's kind of a limited number, a number of people that have this right now. I'll probably see you online somewhere. Um, but if not, then just keep an eye out for your own code. They're slowly rolling them out, and... You know, uh, if you don't get a code, just be ready to join the beta uh, later this year. And, you know, the game will be out in October. So, yeah, it's cool. It's fun. It's interesting. I like it. And I'm going to go play more of it. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.